Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on the new League of Legends Wild Rift on the mobile. Uh, also, we'll show you some tips like to how to unlock your FPS. So for people who's using like a 120 Hz screen, 90 Hz screen, you have an option that you can use to make sure that you optimize your game. So first of all, let's start with the setting at the top. You will need to select graphics. And you will have, first of all, two presets, the quality one that uh, will boost uh, the, the image quality over the FPS. So you're going to run the game in 30 FPS and the performance uh, setting that will run the game at 60. But you will have uh, a lower image quality. I recommend to use custom because they give you a lot of different options and it will adapt perfectly depending on you have like an entry level phone, mid range phone or you have a high hand phone. So first of all, let's go with custom. Me, I'm running the game at 120 FPS because I have a 120 Hertz screen. So really depend on your phone. If you have like a 90, 120, just select the one that you need to use. Uh, also, you can lock your FPS, for example, at 40 if you don't want to go to 60. If you have like a 60 Hertz screen, but you have like a really low end um, phone, so you don't want to have like some a, a crazy amount of like drop in your FPS, you can definitely lock your FPS because as they can tell you, they're saying performance loss uh, at 60 are medium and 40, it's slow. Don't go necessarily to 30, except if, if you have like a 30 Hertz screen. I'm not even sure if like right now some mobile phone has that, but still. Uh, so if you have like a really low end, go 40. And for the majority of the, the people, just use the 60 Hertz and you should be fine to run the game at 60 FPS. After that, you have the gra graphic quality. The graphic quality, I saw a difference between like three to two, two to three percent between each bracket. So if you go to high, you're getting like a nice three percent boost, another three percent over there. And when you go to low, you're getting like one to two percent boost. So I feel like if you're on, you are on a low end uh, phone, go with medium. And again, it really depends on your objective. So if you want to run the game at 90, so you have a 90 Hertz screen, but uh, you don't have a really powerful phone. So you, you can definitely select 90 Hertz or slash FPS. And for example, graphic quality, select medium to make sure that you will go at 90. So really depend where you are right now in your FPS. If you're running the game at 60, and uh, you have a 60 Hertz screen and everything is doing smoothly, like don't lower your graphic, you're, you're, you're already fine. So it really depends on what you want to make. After that, effect quality, this one I recommend to go to low. Uh, in this game, you will see that sometimes your FPS are good, but when you're fighting, you're getting a big amount of uh, like a drop in your FPS. So for the effect quality, it's not really important in League of Legends. Just, so just go to low and you're going to make sure that you're not getting any drop in your FPS. After that, the resolution, I saw a nice 3 to 4% depending on the selection over here. So I recommend like med medium is a good start. But again, it's really depend on your uh, objective. So if you're running your 60 FPS easily, you can definitely stay at high. So just do some testing, but medium and for sure, if you are on a low end phone, go with low. So that's about it. Post processing, I don't use any post processing in this game. So I'm putting this one at off. First of all, you will gain more FPS and you don't want like some random, but not random, but like effect like blur and stuff like that. It's a competitive game. So you don't want those effects. So that's why I'm putting this one at off. The last one that can really help you is the interface animation. Uh, definitely, if you have, you're running on a low-end uh, mobile phone, go with off. You will see on the uh, setting, they have a level of nice effects and stuff like that. But it can be really laggy if your phone is old. So definitely go with off if you're feeling that everything is very like slow in the menu. Go with off and you will feel that your game is a lot snappier. So this is pretty much it, guys, for the parameter for your game. The game is really smooth. It looks very nice when you put everything at Ultra. Honestly, I think this game is better looking than the one from the PC on my uh, Samsung S21 when I put everything at Max. Uh, so it's a really good game. And also, I'm very surprised at uh, how it's easy to use. 
because I was not very sure. You know, you don't add the keyboards, the, the keyboard and the mouse. So, uh, but it's still great, honestly, on the mobile. If you have any question about this game and how to optimize your phone for it, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me, first of all, your phone. If you know the spec of your phone, like the chipset, RAM and stuff like that, you can add it definitely and ask me the question that uh, you need uh, an answer for. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.